Yo, what's up everybody? Llama here and we are uh, back or we're here with some uh, MLB 15 this year. Not back since I haven't made any uh, videos commentating this yet, but we're going to do a uh, franchise here. I'm using live roster, so I don't know what that entails. I don't know if it means anytime the rosters update, if they update in my franchise or what, but if they did, that'd be cool. Or else it's just using the rosters that are live for... Uh, multiplayer which would make more sense but anyways decided to go through the blue jays here i scrolled through all the teams for a while that's why i edited it out it took me like two minutes to decide a team but i leave everything default except for uh, instant trades i threw them on i didn't turn on legendary free agents just because uh i think it would make it like way overpowered and stuff since everybody's gonna sign them and everybody's got 99 overalls and stuff wouldn't be uh too much fun like that so we're gonna use the uh, blue jays like i said and you can actually resume franchises from mlb 14 i was trying to redo my giants one but um, I don't know, it kept all the old camera angles and stuff like that. So I'm going to have to go in and edit it up. I might continue that at some point. But using the uh, Blue Jays here, you have a pretty solid team. They've got uh, good starting pitching, their lineup. They've got a lot of power, as you can see. Um, they definitely could use a different center fielder. I'm surprised. This guy's 64 overall. I am surprised he's not in the minor league since I looked. He's only like 21 or 22. But we got Jose Reyes at shortstop. Uh, Donaldson, who they acquired from the Athletics this offseason. Jose Batista and Carnacion is uh, at first base, I guess, now since Donaldson is at third. So, got a really killer lineup. And then we've got uh, R.A. Dickey, who will pitch the uh, first game for us here against the Yankees in this video, who is the uh, awesome knuckleballer. Knuckleballs are always uh, fun to throw in this game and stuff like that. And he's going to be facing Tanaka here. So, I think the Blue Jays are actually favored to win the uh, American League East this year. Them or the Red Sox might have a nice bounce back here with all the... Uh, off-season signings that they had, but if I didn't say it already, I'm playing on the PS3 version, so I will likely pick up a PS4 here within a uh, few weeks, but um, had to uh, spend money on some other crap, so I didn't have uh, 400 bucks to blow, but I'll have it in like two or three weeks, so probably buy it then, and then you can see all the differences. So this game has, uh, for the PS3 version, it has a lot of the stuff that the PS4 does have but you can't see it, so like licensed equipment and stuff like that. It's in the game, you can equip it, and then like you uh, get money and stuff like that sponsorships or certain players who wear it but you can't see them wear it in game just because there's not me enough memory in the uh, ps3 hardware to uh, kind of show it and stuff like that and it doesn't have all the uh, graphical updates but it still looks pretty good graphically it looks uh, pretty much the same as last year's except it's got the new interfaces and stuff like that but only 40 bucks so it seemed like a uh, pretty solid deal and then it's not like i'm investing like 70 dollars here you can see i didn't change the um difficulty yet it's just on uh i think it starts out on dynamic which is really cool so it'll start people out on like rookie and stuff like that it'll get adjusted to uh how you hit and pitch and it'll move accordingly or you can set it to custom ones however you want or you can see it's only set to veteran that's why i've got that uh easy lead off home run with jose reyes which is just uh clunk the foul pull there in uh right field so you get off to a one nothing lead and then you can see I love pitching with knuckleballers just because it's very rare that you see them in pros i think dickie's the only uh starting pitcher who throws a knuckleball and you can see we get the strikeout there get another strikeout swinging so he is starting off good the only thing is you can't really choose where you want it to go just try to hopefully pick somewhere in the strike zone and not on the corners because it's not going to uh, paint the corners like you want to there we get another strikeout so Dickie is uh, racking up the case here earlier we're going to go to the bottom of the third Steven Drew the shortstop or uh Second baseman, I think, actually. Second baseman for the uh, Yankees is up, and he's going to get all of that one. That goes to deep center field. Just clears the wall. I jumped after it, cleared the wall for whatever reason. I don't even know why I jumped. It was already gone, but you can see uh got some new statistics and stuff. It's got the new uh, interface when you see the uh, stats pop up. That was Drew's 98th career home run there, so it wanted to give us a little notification showing that, that you can see next batter is up. That one's popped into foul territory. Russell Martin gets under it, so that ends the uh, third inning, and it's tied. One run apiece. We're going to go to the bottom of the fifth tier. 1-1 one, one is the count. 40 pitches so far for Dickey. Going to throw that one up, and the uh, batter is going to get all of that one. That's absolutely crushed. Trying to back up, but I don't know. They made it way harder to play uh, balls against the wall and stuff like that this year than it was last year. So it looks like uh, Brett Gardner got all of that one. So uh, he gives the Yankees the 2-1 lead. We're going to go to the top of the sixth tier. 1-2 is the count for Jose Batista. There you can see Tanaka gets the uh, nice strike out there. So he gets Batista swinging on a... Uh, low pitch there and uh, next batter is up which is Encarnacion who is in a two count two two count and the slider is going to get him swinging again so Tanaka is bringing uh, some good heat here we got Donaldson up now who is in the uh, one two count 72 pitches so far for Tanaka top of the sixth runner takes off for second which is Jose Reyes who's going to be in there easy as the throw is uh, way after he crossed the plate so Reyes with a nice stolen base and a home run in this game starting us off good 
That one is at Donaldson's head. It doesn't hit him as he uh, ducks. Might have got him in the neck there if he didn't duck down, but thankfully he ducked because it would have been nice to get a free base, but that could have been a uh, serious injury to one of our uh, better players. So Donaldson is going to get a low one there that he's going to go after, and he's going to hit that one into right field. There you see a monster throw by the right fielder to hold uh, Reyes at third base, so that's going to put tying run on third base here. We've got runners on the corners, two outs. Next batter is in a 3-2 count, and he's going to look at a fastball. Um, at the bottom of the strike zone so yeah i don't know why i looked at that one that was awful um go top seventh here tanak is in he's going to hit our batter in the kneecap there that's gonna uh gonna hurt pretty bad so there you can see that's gonna give us a uh, guy on first base oh actually hit him in the shin which isn't as bad as a kneecap it's not gonna shatter but that shit still is uh painful justin wilson who came over from the pirates for uh whatever that backup catcher's name was uh cervelli i think is on here and he is going to walk saunders so it's going to put two runners on one out um how do you pronounce this dude's name he's up now on a 2-2 count he's going to go after one that is uh slightly outside the strike zone and he's going to pop that up to right field so that's going to hold both runners at first and second neither of them can advance as it's not deep enough to uh, send the runner from second to third next batter is up and it's reyes and he's in a 3-1 count uh should have just taken a pitch because instead I swung at an awful one. Uh, timed that horribly and it goes right back to the pitcher. So straight in two runners. We're going to go to the top eighth here. We've got uh, two guys on. 3 1 is the count. No outs. And that one is going to be grounded right to shortstop. They're looking for a routine double play. You can see the nice little slide at second. Kind of uh, trying to break it up. And that actually helps out the uh, runner there at first as he is able to just beat the throw and they actually have um you can um do video reviews and stuff like that in this game too it's the word i'm looking for uh challenge calls i was doing a franchise with the pirates and um if you got it and they call you out it'll ask if you want to challenge you hit yes and then it'll overturn them i had two so far and i think they were both overturned so i don't know if they come up incorrectly or only when uh the uh umps make a bad call but it's kind of cool that they have the uh, video review in game now which is uh nice and you can see batista Actually, I was not paying attention, so I don't know what happened. I guess we got a uh, sacrifice fly. I kind of looked away for a second, but Russell Martin's up 2-2 two, two count, two outs, and he's going to strike out swinging at a uh, high fastball. So we need a bottom nine here. All right, Dickie's still in. Only 80 pitches for him. He only gave up two monster hits, which um somebody's a knuckleballer. It's going to happen. And there you can see that looked like a check swing from my uh, Ellsbury, but Dickie can't play it. It was a routine out there, so uh, he kind of went to the wrong spot, as you can see. I don't think this was a bunt, I think it was a check swing as it hit the uh, lower part of the bat, not the uh, head of it and stuff like that. So it's going to put run runner on. Next batter is in a full count. He's going to foul that, foul that one off to stay alive. He's not going to fall it off. I can't uh, speak correctly. Next pitch is going to be inside knuckleball. Um, I don't know why I have to say knuckleball. <laughs> I, I don't think I've thrown anything else this game. 87 knuckleball so far. So that is going to put two runners on with no outs. I've got a guy warming up in the bullpen if I need him. And that is a nice hit for the Yankees. It's going to get through shortstop. Shortstop has no chance to play at that one. Left fielder is throwing it home. There you can see the runner takes off. Ellsbury's got insane speed. And he is just going to beat the uh, throw at home. So Martin can't play it as he kind of slides around them. And that is a uh, quite a good game for opening day. Even though we lost, I thought that was a uh, nice game. Had a pretty good ending. And there you can see we lose to the crappy Yankees. But I think this is going to be a good franchise for us here. Um... Probably will play three or four seasons with the Blue Jays until the OSFM rosters come out, which are the full rosters for all the minor league guys. People make them probably take like three weeks for uh, somebody to update those and um, it'll come out. Since these games, it kind of randomizes the players' names and uh, rate or, uh, overall ratings for minor league guys. They don't have the licenses to do it. So it's Operation Sports, like fans something. Um, but they have people who will go in and get their real names and uh, stats and attributes for every... Uh, minor league guy from single way to triple way for every team and they put that in and then they will release it in the roster vault but they're doing so many names so many stats it takes them a while so like i said within three weeks they usually have those out probably start a new franchise team by then once uh the full rosters are out i'll just do a completely crap team like the astros or something but for now we're going to uh do the blue jays i think this is a good franchise and i think we get a solid shot at winning the division uh this year without making too many trains we've got a pretty uh, solid lineup just need our center fielder to develop more if not got to trade for another outfielder but looking good so far uh video is over so thanks for watching guys and uh subscribe if uh, you're new um yeah all right peace